this is long overdue. <coughs> right, so, update video. The hell's going on? Well, first things first is that, uh, why happy? It's been, it's, it's delayed, <laughs> it's delayed again. Um, uh, early 2022, uh, hopefully in January, uh, that's when I expect to have it out. So you only have um, one one full scene to do for that, and then just fixing up um, one uh, that we missed a couple bits of dialogue on. Um, chalky milk. Anyway, so that's running all smoothly. We uh, a couple weeks ago, last week, I think it was last week, uh, we did. We did a scene, one of the big scenes, um, a bit of complicated things, and it runs into the first scene. Through. So we got that done. Um, so, so just to not keep you guys waiting for ages for more of the story and more of the connected universe law and things, I'm working on three like short videos, about a minute each, um, and so they uh, kind of tie in with why hype here. Uh, you'll kind of see, and they do, do add a little bit of like more world building. Um, yeah, you can probably find some little dots in there of like, oh, there's other things going on that seems, it seems like it could flow into something interesting. Um, and so yeah, that it, it is canon. It does have a purpose. Um, so that's all good as well. What else is going on in the works of Project? Well, can't well I think for a minute to get my words. So other projects, um, I have got the story um, together for the third and final uh, in the Wairangi trilogy. It's quite the Wairangi trilogy right now, but it doesn't have any title yet. Um, the third film doesn't have a title either, but I know exactly how it's going to go down now. Uh, how the character dynamics going to work, I'm flushing up the characters a lot better. Um, where this the, the overall story uh, kind of leads on from there. Uh, I'm feeling really happy with how that's going. Um, should start writing some bits for that script soon as well. Um, so yeah, I definitely uh, I know exactly how it's going to end. Uh, the bits that I'm going to leave open to connect in the future with other things that I have ideas for. Um, where the characters go afterwards, where those characters will show up again, how often they will show up again, and in future stories uh, that I have. Um, so there is uh, a like a big overarching kind of narrative uh, throughout the universe, film universe that I'm making. Uh, but of course, I am uh, have some like more smaller scale stories like set within there. That kind of like you know from like the effects of like some of the bigger stories, um, you know creatures coming in and um, doing a thing eating people, what have you, possessing people, um, uh, so, sorry, brain fart there, totally blanked out on everything, um, so, yeah, so I've got, definitely hear, know, like, uh, who the characters are, where they're going, their relationships with each other, how they talk to each other, their dynamics, uh, their friendships, families, allies, um, and with other pieces of world building, how you can, it makes it easier to, like find things in the background or newspapers and things you can kind of connect things to the characters and other stories and where they sit in the timeline of things and how the two different worlds they kind of interact and it's kind of one world and the history that I'm, that I'm making an entire like history and lore uh, for this and it, it's not 100% set in stone uh, with things I've been doing uh, it's to give me like a rough guideline so I've got like multiple different like Google Docs um, which is pages of like history and lore uh, for these stories and it gives me like a guideline to make sure that everything stays on track and everything is like stays connected and makes sense and it's coherent. Um, <laughs> right now it does look a little messy um, and, it do and I've only got like a few films out so within the universe so it doesn't seem very big but um, it's a lot bigger to me because I know 
uh, what's going on, what's to come. So just hold tight in the coming well, years. Um, you'll you'll see these stories start to unfold and be like, oh yes, yes, very good. This is empty, like. <laughs> So, what other things uh, do I need to work on? Um, so I got my website, which I don't think anyone really looks at, um, but I think, uh, that needs a big overhaul because it's a big bloody mess. Um, I, so I'm just gonna redo the entire thing. Um, like keep the information and everything that I've written on there, but just kind of like restructure it so it's not as confusing to navigate and read things through. Um, and I'll just like put in like things of like which kind of like world they come from, overworld, underworld, magic, monster this. Uh, I know it, it seems real messy right now, but it, it's it won't be very soon. Very soon, it will not be messy. Uh, both website and in film canon, but by, by the third Wildungi film, it will be very coherent. Trust me on that one, okay? Alright, and uh, news for the channel, the, the YouTube channel. So we've just hit 50 subscribers, wow we. I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but to me, I appreciate every single one of you who comes along and said, watch my video, and so I went, you know what? I like this guy, I like what he does. I want to give him a cheeky little subscribe. I appreciate that, I want more of that. I like it, come on. Keep, keep that number rolling, keep it coming, keep it rolling. Um, what, Banana Man, that music video, one and a half thousand views now. So it's not very common where you actually put hard work and joy and you create something that you're really proud of, but you usually just fall into the boss and people are like, oh, 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 you're just too funny. But like, I, so I'm very happy that um, that's been getting a lot of attention and that number continues to raise up, so I'm very glad. Uh, people are enjoying watching that and I'm also really enjoying like you know the comments coming in I enjoy that community interaction uh, people are like oh, I'm supposed to be doing classwork but I'm watching this instead XD you know I, I, I love it I love it um, I try to heart uh, as many comments as I can um, I don't respond to all of them obviously but um, I do sometimes Alright, so now let's talk about the elephant in the room. Or, let, or the elephant that is the room. Um, I... We moved, we moved. We moved house, so house to an apartment. So, it's a very tiny space. It literally is my bed. That's my desk and my laptop, and that's about it. So it's like a little bit of window over there we can walk through. That's my room. Um, so, not very big uh, space. Uh, so you... What you've seen, uh, the house that you've seen on the films, like Party Demons, uh, the previous two films, like with Raymond the Wizard and uh, Vitamin Z. Uh, that was my house, old house. Don't live there anymore, you'll never see it again. Um, but luckily, I live in the city now, so that means I have an easy access to a broad array of different locations, makes it easy to get to Mount Vic, as you know. Uh, Doing some well, that's a bit of an important location to the Wairangi story that I'm telling right now. Um, yeah, pretty good. So yeah, overall been quite a good year. Um, completed first year at Master University, going on to my second year. Um, obviously, <laughs> I why up here? Not much I can do uh, in terms of uh, getting it out this year. Uh, you know, uh, COVID uh, lockdowns here in New Zealand. Um, you know, the you know they'll be like, well, the sun is like, oh, okay, we can't do anything, go anywhere. I mean, what can you do? Uh, but obviously, that's played a big role in uh, delaying things a lot. So you know, if you're like organizing something, like, alright, you're getting the scene done, and then it's like, oh, I'm busy. Uh, this person is busy, and then you finally get a day, and then it's like COVID, and it's like ah. 
Um, then you, when you finally get back on track, you're back to uni, the break's over, and so you're gonna waste more, and find a little bit of time, a little bit, and so, yeah, it just gets real mucky. Um, but, trust me, it's gonna be worth the wait. Hopefully, <laughs> it's worth the wait to me, at least. Um, some lovely birds in the background there. That is not a bird. That... Ignore that. So I hope everybody's had a good 2021, despite all the covid -y stuff. Um, I look forward to seeing what happens in 2022. Um, probably more projects with some friends and a 48 hour of, um, competition, so pretty to film in that. Uh, I have, you know, at least two, three, um, short films for next year, of course, finishing White Hop here, doing the third one, and, um, doing a Halloween film. Uh, this year I uh, had a Halloween film in the works, I wrote a script, um, it was all right to go, having some actors for that, it's a really cool, really cool creature that I've come up with, um, and then didn't happen because COVID lockdown didn't film it on time before I had to go back to uni, uh, but that will be coming next year, I'll get on that ASAP, um, I've got a boy for it, um, it's gonna be really cool. So. I'm Finn Davey, the Skipper Dogman, and I'll be seeing you in the film very soon. Later.